Welcome to Drug Air Talk. Today we're discussing drug-induced renal failure. What it is, how it affects the human body, and its causes. My name is Matt Hamilton. I'm a drug air trial attorney. I represent the victims. And I'm joined here by day with Dr. Jesse Garcia. How Welcome, Dr. Garcia. How are you doing, Matt? Uh, for our audience, Dr. Garcia, what is your area of specialty? Well, Matt, I am a clinical pharmacist. I specialize in drug interactions and those interactions on the human body. Now, Dr. Garcia, you may remember some time ago we did a series of five or six videos on specific drugs uh, that can cause a kidney failure or drug-induced renal failure, yes? Correct. Uh, today I'd like to discuss with you uh, just what is uh, drug-induced renal failure. Uh, renal is a very specific term. What does that mean? The renal system is basically the kidneys. Um, that's kind of the, the scientific term for it, but it's basically... Um, the body's function to uh, clean out the blood. It's where all of the, um, the nutrients are either excreted or uh, reabsorbed through different portions of the kidney itself. And then um, that is the, the place where urine is actually made. How does renal failure occur? Renal failure uh, over time and as you age just will go down. Okay, So there is a measure by which um, we do some blood work where you will get a value and then we plug that into a calculation and then that gives us basic kidney function. So we know, okay, uh, this is, you know, how well the kidney is functioning based on where we expect it to be. So with that information, we are then able to dose certain drugs. Uh, certain drugs are cleared, as we say, which basically means um, excreted from the body or removed from the body through the kidneys, while others are um, excreted or removed from the body via the liver. How does failure happen? Failure can happen from a number of, of different uh, uh, avenues. So one of which is you give a medication that uh, can cause chronic kidney or can, can cause kidney issues. So some of those are even some you see that are over the counter. Um, those would be like ibuprofen, or naproxen, um, Aleve. Those type of medications, just by their nature and how they work, it, used in high doses can cause uh, kidney issues if the kidneys themselves are not functioning at so the these are, proper These level. are often a medical professional making a mistake. Correct. And this is a type of mistake that should not occur. Should not occur. Okay. Um, and uh, is this something that they should catch? You know, we would, we would hope that they would catch it. Okay, because you know we know what the maximum doses are for a lot of these over-the-counter medications. So in some cases, if they're just prescribed it too much, or they're not looking at, you know, the data that's in front of them. So so this is a dosing error. They're giving, they're giving too much, more than they should. Can be too much, and in some cases, um, other medications have narrow therapeutic uh, windows, meaning the drug itself has to be given within a certain dose or at a certain concentration in the blood. So those have to be monitored very closely to make sure that that dose falls within that line. That's important because if it's not within that line, you can lead into you know, issues with the kidneys. You can have uh, issues with uh, uh, you know, losing your, your hearing in some cases as well. And so these dosing errors that happen with drugs through medical mm -hmm. professionals, we're using the word failure as well. Uh, what does it, the failure mean when we're talking about the kidney or the renal system? So over time, as we said, as you age, your, your kidney function goes down. So that's a normal process that we just need to monitor that. When you give some of these medications or they're given incorrectly, you can find yourself in a situation where now you are at, say, 70% of normal and now you get into, say, 30% normal. Now, I stated earlier, you're not able to uh, or the kidney was the point at which you would reabsorb all your vitamins and your nutrients, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of your, your, your calcium, um, you know, this is where you find um, glucose is reabsorbed, um, number of different ions that you need for just normal chemical function are, are, you know, happen in the kidney. So failure happens when the kidney can no longer do those effectively. As a result of that, mm -hmm. you may need to be put um, or may have to have dialysis. So this isn't just a normal reduction over age and time. This is actually a complete failure of the system such that they need dialysis. Absolutely. Absolutely. What, what is dialysis? Dialysis is basically a, a, a system by which uh, we clean out the blood, so to speak. 
It's we, a man-made system. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a system that we use. Uh, basically, you're hooked up to a, a machine, and it circulates, cleans out the blood, makes sure that you have enough ions in there that, you know, what you need, basically. Is that the kidney a, that the kidney would have done um, had it been working at its normal. When they're on dialysis, is this a chronic thing? I mean, this is this is this is lifelong unless they you know unless they are fortunate enough to be able to be on a transplant list and receive the transplant. So you know, these these people that have end stage renal failure, they're either on dialysis for life or they're getting a transplant or they're dying. Correct, and in some cases, you know, you may not think about it because we're in you know kind of metro area. But I've heard of cases where patients who live, say, up in Alaska who have, you know, kidney issues or have had kidney issues, they have to take a plane two hours to get to the dialysis clinic. And they're doing that two, three times a week. So you can imagine the cost involved in that. And these can often result just from simple errors that should be avoided. Should Errors that should have never happened. Uh, Dr. Garcia, it's been a pleasure talking with you about end-stage renal failure. For more information on this, I'd encourage you to go to our website, worldwideweb.law-kc.com. There will be a number of different items and materials that will assist in your research on end-stage renal failure. And I also do encourage you, there are going to be links to videos that are posted on that website that we've done on the specific drugs that can lead to this. It's been Dr. Garcia. It's been a pleasure seeing you again, sir. Thank you, as always. Right. And it's been Drug Air Talk. Have a good day.